Hi everyone, how are you? It is B, and we're going to do a random daily. You'll get these about every two to three days from me from now on. So let's see what we got going on here. I just did your full moon tarot reading for the total lunar eclipse in Taurus. So let's see what we got going on here. That full moon total lunar eclipse in Taurus is all about self-value and it's all about what your what are you worth and how do you diplomatically approach others in order to um, basically get what you deserve or to um, demand that you're not going to be treated a certain way. That you're no longer going to take you know, the back seat in certain situations. A lot of people going through that right now. You also cannot run from your problems. You can't just go silent. You can't just cut it off and say, oh, I'm just going to walk away. I'm just going to leave. It just, I'm just not going to talk to that person. I'm just, you've got to face your issues head on. That's what this full moon in Taurus is all about. Okay. Facing your issues head on regarding self-value and what your worth is and how you handle your possessions and where you're willing to give an inch or where someone else is willing to give an inch and, and compromise and to find a win-win situation. So let's see what we've got going on here. As soon as I'm done with this, um, I will be doing the IR. So the IR will be up tonight. And then I will be posting um, all of the individual signs for the full moon reading. These are lumped into earth, air, water, fire. And for those of you that want to put the timestamps in, they're about 10 to 11 minutes each. So you get a pretty good reading uh, for each of you. And um, yeah, so basically I do a major arcana. And when you see that, you're going to see what you're leaving and what you're going towards. Um, so there is that energy there as well. And we're just going to go ahead and get into the random daily. Let's see what's going on for the next two to three days. Some of you have very big decisions to make. I'm hearing. Some of you are discovering another side of yourself also is what I'm hearing. Um, contemplation. I'm hearing contemplation. I'm hearing, I am hearing coerciveness as well. Uh, I believe someone may try to coerce you to do certain things. Um, now remember coercion is more of like basically trying to take something away from you and then demanding you be a certain way in order for you to accept the relinquishment of that thing. So just be aware of that as well. Those are just the energies I'm getting uh, for the next two to three days. So let's see what we got going on here. Knight of Cups reversed, yeah, a, a rescinding of some sort of love offer, an offer, um, an offer that has been refused, an offer that has been denied, um, not being able to give an offer at this present point and time, perhaps at another time, so something might be delayed regarding some sort of an offer, an emotional offer, an emotional um interaction i'm hearing you know some of you out there might be saying like where's the love okay so where's the love where's where's the um where's my emotional fulfillment or where is the emotional fulfillment in this particular situation this could also be a charmer as well so you might have a charmer around you that has no intention of follow through. So you may want to make sure that follow through happens through some sort of um, communication with someone else. Like 
I'm hearing being a man of their word or being a woman of their word and the follow through. Yeah, because somebody's been carrying a pretty hefty load. Now, this might be both people. Uh, this might be both groups of people. This might be your coworkers and you or whatever. Like there's a lot more to do here. There's a, there's a bigger load to carry because some sort of offer was rescinded or some sort of offer was um, delayed in some way, shape, or form. Some of you could be moving. There could be talks of moving. This is a burden that must be carried in order to get to the place or to the location that you are desiring to be. This could also be a burden of love. This could also be a burden of um, like passion. So for example, people are like, this is very job orientated. So people are taking on a lot more at their jobs lately. But for what reason? We'll find out over here. Yeah, King of Cups. To be the person that people can be, depend upon, to be emotionally intelligent about a situation, to be the person that everybody leans on, to be the person that everybody goes to for advice. This could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy as well. And things are a little bit crazy right now. Things are a little bit tumultuous as it relates to someone's emotions, but they're being very, very calm on the outside. And they're, they're pointing more towards the solution than they are to try to continually cause more chaos. Even though there's a lot of chaos around them, they're trying to calm the waters. Because someone really does want to be in a family environment. Someone really does want something to work. Someone really does want the commitment. Someone really does want the happily ever after. Someone really does want the union. Someone really does want to feel as though they've found their tribe for sure. All right, now we've got a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, feminine energy coming through here. And this, this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, feminine energy is looking at this happy family, is looking at this union, is looking at this marriage, is looking at this commitment is looking at this um, overwhelming joy and um, a feeling of stick to is what I'm hearing. So it is a lot like commitment, stick to And this is what she desires. This is what she's wishing upon. You know, this is also like kind of like her trophy. So it's kind of like she's looking at this like I am worth it. I am. I am worth it. And don't ever think that I'm not. Like, I, I've carried the burden. I've been jerked around. I've been, I've been trying to make this whole thing work. So I decide whether or not we move forward. I decide whether or not I'm going to rescind an offer or take an offer or whatever. And I'm watching. I'm smarter. I'm using my intuition a lot better. That's what that Queen of Cups is saying. Yeah, because there's some sort of energy here where maybe she got some bad news or maybe she uh, received some news that wasn't very kind regarding her job, regarding her, um, you know, passions, regarding her, you know, her love, her um, desire to move forward. How she expresses herself. How she expresses herself. This could be some um, information coming through about travel that is not to her liking. And she's trying to stay very, very calm about it. It may have something to do with family or getting together or a union. And something is delayed here and she's just not happy about it because she feels as though she's being overly burdened. And she's tired of being overly burdened.
I mean, nobody wants to be overly burdened. Nobody wants to be an option. Nobody wants to be, you know, put on the side because, you know, of whatever reason. I mean, you have to decide what your priorities are. You have to decide what really means something to you. You have to decide, you know, how you're going to move forward in this particular situation. Again, remember, this full moon, you've got to address it. You can't just, you know, let it just pass. You have to address it. You've got to find out where you stand. You've got to find out what's going on. You, you have to let people know that I'm no longer going to carry this burden. I'm done. I, I, I can't do this anymore. Let's see what your quick fire brings. Two of Wands, needing to make a decision, needing to get guidance, needing to, needing to bring in that person who's been standing behind you, bring them into the environment with you. Talk to them. Don't make a decision without them. Um, that's what this is. Like somebody's made a decision without appropriate parties being present. Like a party that has been supporting this entire time a certain project, a certain goal, but leaving them out of the loop is not smart. So you got to bring them in in order to create the change that you want to create. Yeah, this is about the truth, absolute truth. This is about a victory. When you bring that person in, when you don't leave somebody out of the loop, when you don't leave somebody out of the discussion, you have victory. Because it feels as though someone has been carrying this burden. Yeah, karma is going to be released. This is judgment time. Mind your P's, mind your Q's. Something very, very significant happening in the next three to four days. And of course, surprise, surprise, lunar eclipse. Okay, so the lunar eclipse is bringing in the energy of that self-value and the respect for yourself and the respect for others and being truthful about that interaction. Somebody's no longer going to be bowled over. Someone's no longer just going to give and give and give and give and not get anything in return. They're tired of it. Yeah, because they're not getting their wish granted. And then they feel left out in the cold. They feel regretful. They feel lost. Or there could be a loss because someone was um, left out. Someone was not getting their wish granted. Someone was being used and abused and manipulated and and bowled over with more and more things and, and they're just they're just done empress reversed this is making a mother figure not happy this is someone that's probably not doing well maybe somebody's work is making them sick somebody's work is making them weak um someone's not looking to really appreciate and nurture a situation, which is why there's this regret, this loss, this no wish being granted. And someone's thinking about walking away. Someone's thinking about, you know what? Do I even need this? Do I even need this? Maybe it's time for me to go. Start my own journey. Start my own venture. Start my own, you know, um, new beginning. My own entrepreneurial venture. Mind my own businesses. And keep negative energies at bay. Keep people who are trying to distract me with this, that, and the other and keeping me all sorts of everywhere. I just, I'm just not having it. I'm more powerful than that. I have more respect for myself than that. Maybe something that I wished and I hoped and I, I put the energies out there and this is what I want in return and it's not coming. It's not coming. Okay, this could be a delay in travel as well, but it's not coming. So why am I waiting? Maybe I need to give my offer to somebody else. You see how that uh, Knight of Cups is reversed here? Someone wasn't willing to give somebody an offer, so now they're giving it to somebody else. Someone is dropping the burden. Absolutely. And they're going to be in a situation where there's more reciprocation. Period. The end. That's what that's all about. All right, guys, I hope you like this random daily. I do wish you the best. Much light, much love, many blessings, and catch you on the flip side.